since my early days at Karen Counseling started in 1973 when I was a graduate of Concordia Seminary and I was assistant pastor at a Lutheran congregation at South County. Um, Karen Counseling was the first organization in town that had um, a connection between uh, the churches in the community and the psychiatric community. Those were exciting times in the culture because people were beginning to, to discover that uh, counseling actually made a difference. What we discovered is that there were not a re enough resources to go around. And so we got together psychiatrists and seminary professors and eager students, and I was one of them, to learn a little bit more about what this counseling process was all about and how it were, could really make a difference, including make a difference in the spiritual lives of the people who came to us. Because that was a niche we had. Pastors were calling us and saying, who do I refer to? And, uh, and in many ways, at that point in time, we were the only shop in town to bridge that religious connection with the psychological connection. And the training here was a pretty heady experience. Uh, we would gather with psychiatrists, with analysts, with other counselors, with religious leaders, seminary professors, and we would talk together about what was going on with the people that we were trying to help. And one of the things that I remember learning most was the power of the ability to listen and not to feel like I had to come up with the right answers. Um, I, um, I've, I've done a lot of things here over the uh, years that I've been here. Uh, Bill North, uh, the second executive director, hired me as a counselor and director of youth counseling services. I became clinical director for a while uh, and then I became training director for a while, uh, and then I became program director, uh, and it felt to me like uh, I was filling spots that really needed to be filled. Uh, as I began uh, to deepen my work in counseling and also begin to be ex began to be uh, experienced as an administrator, I knew that uh, I had a vision for this place that I would like to exercise at some point. Then, around 1994, uh, 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 I became interim director, it might have been 95, and was in that role for a couple of years while Karen Counseling did a, a self-evaluation, tried to determine what kind of leadership uh, we needed. Uh, and in 97, they selected me to become executive director. In 2014, it was in 2014, that uh, I stepped down from uh, the position of executive director because I felt I knew what I felt I had done what uh, I was called to do. I also knew that in order for the organization to take the next step, uh, it probably needed to have someone in that position full time. And I just did not want to give up my counseling oath. Uh, that, that is and always has been my first love. And so in 14, I stepped back, but I did hold on to the clergy and congregational care program, and uh, I continue uh, to coordinate that to this day.